Hi everyone. So we left off this afternoon um, looking at the example questions for geometric sequences. And so I'm just going to try to um, use a screen capture here um, to go over the solution to that. So before we actually start with the question, which was basically if you were given um, two non-sequential values in a geometric sequence, you were told you were asked to find um, the general term. So that meant you had to find the common ratio even though you were only given um, two non-sequential terms. So let's start with some very simple numbers for example. We'll start off. Um, if we had been given, let's say we were given um, 2 and for T1 and 8 for T3. Now you very well may be able to see um, already what these what the t2 should be if we're, you know it's geometric but if for example um, let me change color too bad okay um, if we think about what this geometric sequence is for a minute or what any geometric sequence means is we're taking t1 and we're multiplying it by a certain number to get t2 and then we're taking it and we're multiplying it again by that number to get t3. So really we're multiplying by something and we're multiplying by it again. We know that that's really the, the same idea um, of squaring something. Multiplying something by the same number twice is essentially the same thing as squaring. So if we, over to the side here, look at the numbers we're given, and using just those numbers, if I take 8 and divide it by 2, well, I get 4. Now, if you think about this logically, you might be tempted for a minute to say, okay, the common ratio is 4, or, given the numbers I chose, you might just automatically put in T2 equals 4, but that's not what this is showing. 8 divided by 2 is not giving you the value for T2. It's giving you the common ratio, except, here's the important part, this has been multiplied by twice, right? Because we're dealing with T3 and T1, it's like it was squared, right? Multiplied by the same number twice. So if we take the square root of 4, we get 2, and this means that R equals 2. So if r equal 2 here, obviously it would equal 2 here. 2 times 2 is 4, times 2 again is 8. Okay, and you can practice that with some more complicated numbers. Um, similarly, if you had been given, for example, t1 um, and t, let's say you were given t4. Let me get some more space here. And just for simplicity, we'll use the same numbers here. If you were told that T1 was 4, or sorry, T1 was 2, and um, T4 this time, oh no, sorry, uh, yeah, T4 was 16. Okay, now here we can take 16, divide it by 2, we get 8. Now don't jump to conclusions and assume that we should be taking the square root, which we did up here, because here it's, look, it's times r, whatever r is, times r again, and again times r. So this is r times itself three times, and so then we're looking for the cube root this time and the cube root of that number that we got when we divided the two values we were given. And of course the cube root of 8 is 2, and so we go here 2 times 2 is 4, 4 times 2 is 8, and of course 8 times 2 to verify is 16. And that's the idea there um, with, with those values. Okay. So now I want to get to the actual question. Um, now let me hopefully just erase this very quickly. I think is my best bet. Hoping. Sorry guys, bear with me a minute. 
Okay, so then the actual question we were looking at in our examples was if Tn, or sorry, um, T5, and so it doesn't have to be, um, you know, starting with T1. We were told T5 equals 100, 800, sorry, 1,875, and that T7 equals 46,000, 875. Okay, so it's the exact same idea. We're missing one term, T6. This means we'll look for the square root here. So if I take um, T7 and I divide it by T5, Okay, and I, um, I did these numbers earlier so that I could hopefully go through this smoothly. We get 25. We know this represents um, the common factor multiplied by itself twice though. So therefore we want the square root of 25. That of course equals 5. What is this representing? Well this is representing r. So r equals 5. Okay, now we weren't given T1 and T2 like in our other examples. We're given T5 and T7. So if I then, I need to find A because I need to find the actual equation uh, for the general formula. So I need A. So if I write out, uh, well, let me write the equation first. Tn equals A times R to the N minus 1. T5 Right? If I use T5, the value of T5 is 100, sorry, 1875. You could have used T7 if you chose to, that would be fine. A is still unknown, but R we just found to be 5. So 5. Now, what is my N minus 1? Well, N for this example equals 5 because I used T5. So N equals 5 minus 1. Had I used 46,000, my T7 value here, then my exponent for n, it would have been 7 minus 1. Okay, so now we end up with here 5 to the power, well, I might as well show this, 5 to the power of 4. And when you evaluate that, that power, you get um, 5 to the power of 4 is 625. So even though we very often write our constant in front, this is equivalent to saying 625a. Okay? Now, I don't want to know 625a. I want to know the value of a. So if I divide both sides by 625, then I can isolate my variable, which is a, and I end up with a equaling 3. So now I have a equals 3. Above on the screen we had found out that r equals 5. Therefore we know our general formula for this geometric sequence. Tn of course is a r to the n minus 1. So Tn equals 3 times 5 to the n minus 1. And the question I believe then asked you to find the first three terms. So then you would just substitute in, okay? So if I go up here and I want to find T1, T1 equals, well, we know what this one is actually, but let's, we're, we've already started writing it. Um, 3 times 5, 1 minus 1 is going to be 0. 5 to the power of 0, of course, is 1. And, sorry, we had already found that, right? But it's good to actually help us verify it, make sure. Okay, and so then you could find T2, right? 3 times 5, and is 2 this time, 2 minus 1 equals 3 times 5. Simplify your exponent, 2 minus 1 is 1. 5 to the power of 1 is 5, so 3 times 5 is 15. Okay, T3, seeing as we're doing this, and then we'll wrap it up n is 3 minus 1, so we have 3 to the power of 5, 3 minus 1 is 2, we end up with 5, I guess, here, we'll write it out, 
right? 5 squared is 25, 3 times 25 is 75, and there's your first three values, and I hope that was helpful.